Hello, fans of the Bentons. We are looking at the MR series, which uh, stands for Mirror, Mosrite. Now, I could tell you all about what the Mosrite stands for. I got to close my door. But I don't know anything. All I know is uh, my friend Chris Jupiter likes to play the shape. Uh, I know that uh, Ryan Burke from Six Cycle Hum loves it because it's freaky deaky. There's history, and I could Wikipedia it and tell you, but you can also Wikipedia it and uh, save me time and make this video shorter. So, based on the Moss Ride, how uh, good of a replica of a Moss Ride is it? Probably not, because it probably looks like one, but build wise, you know, it's a budget guitar that will satisfy your need to have a guitar on your lap that looks like a Moss Ride. Whatever Moss Ride is, I keep saying Moss Ride. There's two. This is the modern version, which we're going to look at in a bit. Clocking in at 349. And then the classic version, different parts, clocking in at 100 bucks less. So for 249, you get the pleasure of looking like a Moss Ride kind of player with a weird longer, lower horn and all that stuff. This one is the classic version in a sparkly blue finish. Come on, how cool is this? Two P90s, the weird Harley Benton bridge that has the protruding screws in the back and possibly kind of a sharp edge. Oh, and this one's not so bad because this rider right here sometimes is a little bit too sharp. So when you're palm muting, um, it's bugging you. But on this one, it's fine. It also kind of tilts forward in a weird way, which it actually you know, might have to. It's just, for me, and I've said this on the other models that have these bridges, it would be the first thing I change because uh, there are nicer wraparound bridges. Then again, the wraparound bridge I would put on this is going to cost probably about 150 bucks and the whole guitar is 250. So I can't bitch about the bridge. No bitch bridge. Um, it is a bolt-on, Michael bolt-on guitar without any kind of shaping there. It's literally a freaking block. Is that because that's the way it used to be on the Moss Ride? I have no idea. Necky neck, maple, scarfy joint, scarf joint. On inexpensive guitars, that is completely normal, even up to like, you know, the thousand bucks. We have Volute, it's an angled headstock. We have vintage style tuners by Wilkinson. Wilkinson Deluxe classic -y tuners. Jack on top which I freaking hate because your cable comes out here, but the people that play this guitar, that's an aesthetic that you want. You want the cable and the thing, and the guitar's probably gotta hang down here. You know, that that's that's you guys. Let me see if I missed anything in terms of stats. Base with body, it's a roasted Jitoba fretboard, dot inlays, satin finish, double action truss rod, Matching headstock, which is cool, and I actually like the headstock, it really works. Uh, it's a C profile, 305 millimeter radius, uh, 42 millimeters here, graphite nut, 22 frets, got Artec P90 El Nico 5 vintage single coils, volume and tone, three way switch, uh, Clusen style Wilkinson tuners, deluxe chrome, comes in tens with the Dario's right of the thing. Uh, but Ah, uh, yeah, this one doesn't because um, as I was stretching out the strings, because nobody in any guitar factory, it doesn't matter what the price, stretches out the strings. As I was stretching them out, uh, it uh, high E string broke. So I had to put on new strings. So these are not the Darius. These are, I think, M Steels from Ernie Ball. So this is 249. And if you like that kind of look with a freaky deaky longer, lower cutaway or horn this guitar is for you it hangs nicely on the uh, on the strap and it's got the calf and that's a german calf it's not because i'm holding it's actually called a german calf where you don't have it nicely smoothly going down where you literally just have a top part and a side a bottom. it's a german calf so we're uh pumping this puppy through a bunch of amps now let me see uh Dots are not 100% centered, but they're equally all a little bit lower. But it works. It's 249, people. 
The cable I'm playing this with is a Zayola cable. It's almost as expensive as the guitar. So we're going into the Tonking Sky King. Why am I going into all these high-end amps? We've discussed this. Because if this guitar sounds good through all the high-end shit, then you know the guitar isn't at fault. If I play this through a budget amp, then the question is, what sounds shit, the guitar or the amp? You need to make sure that when you're testing something, what you're testing is going through good shit so that you, you know if it is the problem or something else. So we got these two P90s and here we go. <laughs> Got some bite, it's got some brightness already on the neck P90. So you want to be careful with the top end, okay? Let's get some delay and reverb on there, subtly from the RE202. So for the brilliantly ambient stuff, absolutely works. In the middle, gonna have some more bite. Nice and lean, that's it. Let's look at the tone. Goes a little bit far. If it's too bitey, you can really tame it a bit. That's the all those are three sounds. I mean that's easy. Let's go into a couple of different amps like the Arta Sound Vibrasound 2, which is Dumbledesque and should drive it a little bit. It's got, it's got clarity. It's got a cool clarity there. Ah, oh, reverb's coming from the amp. Let's do this here. This is pretty cool for that. Let's go into more amps, let's go into the Mini Plexi by the Marshalls. Should be rocking a bit more, it's the SV28. Push 
push that a little bit. Something Voxy, the AC20 from Morgan. It's interesting, this, this guitar is fat and pushy and ultra clear, but it's not pushing the amps into a lot of distortion. That's very interesting. So it's, it's actually more subtle. <laughs> Okay, not a lot of drive, but it's got some rock and roll attitude that I like. It's got a push and clarity. I already said that. Uh, we're going into the Marshall, that big thing, uh, JCM 800. <laughs> not the guitar to go super crazy mega gain. You could. You of course could. But I love how it's tame in the game, but still has a beautiful punch. This is your dirt rock guitar. 249. Um, visually, it's not mine. Not my thing. But it doesn't have to be. It's got to be your thing. I got to evaluate how it plays. And that's fine. Action is okay. This is not a shred monster. And the neck is already perfectly straight. So in terms of doing the middlies and squiddlies, I don't think you're going to do this on, on this guitar. Then again, that's not the guitar that you do middlies and squiddlies on. Let's spend another hundred bucks and see what happens. One thing that happens is it gets quite a bit more heavy. There is a trem block here because that's got a Wilkinson tremolo. And that is actually rather fat. Look at this. That's not your little, you know, Fender player trem block. Same idea, same thing right there. Scarf joint, volute, plastic tuners, vintage style, but locking. HB branded, so let's see what they are. As I said, 349. Makasa Ebony fretboard, that's the difference. Dot inlays, blah, blah, blah. All the same, graph tech nut, so that's where some of the money goes. Well, they need that because the strings go icky, icky, icky through it, so they need a self-lubricating nut. 22 blacksmith stainless steel frets, so it's got stainless steel frets. Two Arctic AHC 90 Sopa Alnico 5 humbuckers. So these are Sopa, but humbucker. So it's P90 size, but umbuking. Volume tone. Push pull for coil tap in the back. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. Clusen style Wilkinson locking tuner. So they're Wilkinson, but they're HP, HP, HP. They're HP branded. And that's nice. Locking tuner on any modern guitar. And this is called a modern, so they're listening. Um, count with tens. And these are still the Dadarios because they didn't break. Candy apple red gloss. 
Nick is pretty much as straight as it can be. It's not a shred monster. Again, uh, uh, again, no. Uh, also modern. Does it say that? I don't know if these are. Yes, these are lumen lace. Does it say that anywhere? Nope. I don't think so. They're lumen lace, and look how freaking big they are. Because it's a modern guitar, they're calling this the MR Modern. So big ass lumen lace. That's modern. Uh, locking tuners. It's got a Wilkinson trim that can go a tiny bit up. Very nice. And you can tighten that sticky wiggle. Um, push pull back here. Now, I massively hurt my hand with this. Because from the factory, uh, this top screw right there is, well, stripped. Because budget guitars, they use budget screws, which means you twist it too hard and it gets stripped. This screw, these are fine, but the one where you're actually playing is rather sharp. And I've noticed, and I'm like, ah, what's gonna happen? So I recorded the track in the beginning, where I literally played for about 10 minutes, maybe. And I was playing, 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 and right here, I was going over that screw over and over, and I was wondering, and I just did it again, it got rough and rough and rough, and actually later started to hurt. I cut my hand, not up to where blood was coming out, but it was really just ripped to shreds, like the whole top layer. So let me show you that screw right there. So definitely the quality control was not doing their job there. So I'm going to see if I can get that. Yeah. So these three seconds in quality control, Harley Benton, would have prevented me from actually getting an injury. This is something that quality control should find and then do this. Done. A little bit pissed off about that because it hurt, it actually hurt me, okay? I know, don't be such a crybaby. Check your guitar before you wreck your hand. So pretty much check it before you wreck, yes, check yourself before, you, it's a thing, I don't know. But now, all good. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm doing this on the other ones too because they're not perfectly not harmful. Yep, now we're good. Okay, now it's actually usable. And if you ask yourself, yeah, but Henning, isn't Harley Benton sending you guitar specifically picked for YouTubers? And if you ask yourself, is Harley Benton sending guitars to YouTubers that are pre-checked and they only pick the best ones and so they can't find any flaws? If they're doing that, why are they sending this out? So no, they don't. We get stuff that's off the line. This definitely proves it and some other things too that I found on other guitars. So, here we go. Bit more balanced, bit less harsh on the ultra top end, because humbuggers. check the tuning. Yes, it's a self-replicating nut, but still maybe use some Big Ben's nut sauce or whatever if you really want to do more drastic trem stuff. It's just, it has to be set up all the way correctly. And again, on a guitar, it's it's just me, but on a guitar for 350 bucks, I wouldn't go wee, 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 and then expect it to stay in tune, okay? Locking tuners are great, but they can't really prevent massive detunage. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
来 ，Spanky。Let's go into the art sound, vibra sound two. To the Marshall Mini Plexi, right back here. It's. I like that they're not pushing the amps too hard. Let's go into the Morgan AC20. I think it needs that that call splitty tap, call tap. I wouldn't do that. That's too wiry, too piezo-y. I, I don't think the guitar needs it. Just leave it out. Same price. Don't ever use it because then you don't use those sounds. Because I wouldn't. Okay. Um, we're going into the Marshall JC Mid Hundred. <laughs> So, I don't really see these as your shreddy guitars. Play solo on it, yes. Play melody on it, yes. But um, you can't really improve the action drastically. I think these are your indie doom rhythm machines. Fuzz the shit out of them, absolutely. Uh, this is not your place where you play loads of leads. I, at least I wouldn't. 
But I love how subtle they push the amp, not too much. I love the clarity. So I can absolutely see a very specific use of these instruments. Um, primarily the use for you is going to be, you want something that looks like this. You want something that looks weird with a crooked pickup and all that stuff. And that just, you know, makes your uh, willy jingle or whatever. So that's why you buy this. Should you buy the one with the P90s, which is a little bit sharper in the top, but doesn't have a trem? Depends. Do you need the trem? Maybe block the trem, get this, because I do like that this is not quite as spidey and I really like the locking tuners. It's, it's a hundred bucks difference. That's really up for you to decide. So I'm going to go and say they're both fine instruments for the money, no question about it. Definitely special and not brutal, but rocking. And that's a cool thing. I like that. I like that they do not do not kill those amps. I'm going to put links below. This uh, is a sponsored video. But you know me. If you don't, watch more. For that, you need to subscribe. So do that. And you find out that that doesn't matter on this channel. Links below, please use them. Subscribe. That really helps as well. And uh, we put animals at the end because that's what we like to do.